Hello. I wanted to share with you another thought taken from this brilliant little book, Thoughts to Make Your Heart Sing, by Sally Lloyd-Jones and Jago. I wonder if you've ever noticed that when it's cloudy you can't see the stars. And sometimes clouds can hide even great big mountains from us, and closer to home, the Isle of Wight. For a moment it seems as if there are no stars shining, no mountains standing, like the Isle of Wight off the coast of Southampton has disappeared. But have the mountains moved? Have the stars stopped shining? Has the Isle of Wight sunk or floated away? No, of course not. Clouds have just hidden them. Our feelings, our emotions, can be a bit like clouds at times. They blow in and hide things from us. They blow in and hide God from us too. Sometimes they tell us God doesn't care. He isn't listening. He's far away. And that's especially true at these times when we don't have much close contact with others. Our emotions and our feelings can blow in and hide God from us. Now 1 John chapter 3 verse 20 says this, For God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. God is greater than our hearts. Or put another way, God is greater than our feelings. Even when our emotions blow in and God seems hidden or distant or indifferent or uncaring, God hasn't changed. God hasn't left us. God is listening. He hasn't got grumpy with us and he hasn't stepped away from and stopped caring for us, even slightly. Someone has counted that there are 8,810 promises in the Bible and 7,487 of those promises are made by God to humankind. Here are some of those promises. Psalm 136 verse 26 says, Give thanks to God, to the God of heaven, his love endures forever. 1 John chapter 1 verse 9 says, if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. God promises to forgive us. Or there's Matthew 28 verse 20, where Jesus promises that surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Or John chapter 6 verse 39, where again Jesus says, that he will not let go of or lose a single one of all those his father has given him, but raise them up on the last day. Or lastly, Philippians chapter 1 verse 6, where it says that we can be confident that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. God promises to love his people, to forgive us, to save us, to keep us, to help us and to change us. God is greater than our feelings or our hearts and he knows everything. The writer Amy Carmichael said this, Our feelings do not affect God's facts. They blow up like clouds and cover the eternal things that we do most truly believe. We may not see the shining of the promises, but they still shine. His strength is not for one moment less because of our human weakness. Our feelings come and go like the clouds, but God stays the same. His promises are still shining, even when our feelings say differently. So this week, however we're feeling, or however we will feel, Let's remember God never hides from us. Let's remind ourselves of his promises because they're still shining. He loves us. He forgives us. He's with us. He saved us. He helps us. He's growing us and much, much more.